Panel Video Expo is organized by a former PLC, the world's largest event organizer. Typically, in any given year, Informa runs about 560 events. Now, if we only look at the beauty events in Asia regions alone, there's a total of 14, which means you can pretty much see one of our beauty shows every month. Our beauty shows in China have in the city of Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Chengdu. And outside of China, just to name a few countries, we have shows in Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, India, and so on. So when it comes to beauty coverage, Informa has got it all covered. Now, as far as China Beauty Expo goes, it is a three-day event that takes place in Shanghai every year. It is regarded as one of the biggest beauty shows in the world in terms of size. For our 27th edition, which happened in May of this year, it had a total of 200,000 square meters with 3,200 exhibitors and top 500,000 visits coming from 60 countries and regions. The majority of our visitors came from Asia, followed by Europe and America. Obviously, with the China border now open, we expect more international visitors to come in the future. All the visitors that come to our show falls under many different categories, such as retailers, distributors, manufacturers, brand owners, and many more. Now, this is a picture of, of the venue layout for our show. The halls are color coded according to their color category. Red being our cosmetics brand, while purple color represents our professional beauty. Now these are these two categories add up to half of our show, while the other half belongs to our supply chain, which is shown in the color blue. Overall, we have 17 out indoor halls, six outdoor halls, and many customized outdoor booths. Each house is represented by a different special category. For example, if you find, if you want to find all the international provisions, they are located in Hall E2, with countries like Germany, France, Italy, Spain, and many more. Or if you just want to find, say, a Japanese brand, they will be located in N5. Now, looking at the categories for cosmetics exhibitors, we cover all the main categories, such as skincare, toiletries, color cosmetics, household devices, fragrances, all the usual categories. And the brands that exhibit at our shows include both international and domestic big names. Brands such as L'Oreal, Shiseido, Mistine, Geo Skincare, and many more. On the other side of the spectrum, cosmetic visitors are divided pretty evenly, with offline retailers at almost at 38%. Those including your cosmetic stores, department stores, supermarkets, shopping centers, maternity and baby stores, pharmacies, duty-free shops, while our online retailers measures at about 32%, with online stores like Taobao, Tmall, WeChat, etc. And the final 30% belongs to brand agents, distributors, wholesalers, and import agents. As for the professional beauty exhibitor categories, which are the spas, the salons, the beauty centers, we cover professional products and high-end products, beauty equipment and devices, nail eyelash, health and wellness, medical aesthetics, skin management, and others. And now on the right side of the slide, you can see a partial list of exhibitors that came to our show. On the flip side, the majority of our professional beauty visitors comes from beauty salons, nail, eyelash, ambulatory shop, medical beauty center, clinic, hair salon, fitness centers. They make up up to 70% 
total visitors for the professional beauty line. And the rest at 28% is made of, of agents and distributors. And finally, our supply chain vendors, which covers up to 50% of our shelf. They include OEM, ODM, packaging, ingredients, raw materials, machinery and equipment, inspection, testing, and others. We got companies like DSM, Intercost, Cosmax, all are very known in the beauty industry. As far as visitors go, the top two contributors are brand owners at 38% and manufacturers at 30%, followed by traders and agents at 13%, and brand agents and distributors at 9%. Now, in order to make China Beauty Expo more international and diversified, we have created an event called the Country of Honor. This is where we choose a different country every year who have a mature cosmetics industry, and we want them to bring their culture, their products, and tech technologies to the people of China. And at the same time, we would also like them to see what kind of products and technologies China have to offer. We typically work with each country's embassy to see the best way to represent their country image. We started this program in 2016 with Korea, followed by France in 2017, Japan in 2018, Thailand in 2019, and we resumed with Italy in 2023. One stat I want to share with everybody here today is that every time a country is, has been chosen as a country of honor, we see an uptick of sales in the following year in the cosmetics, thus leading to even more exhibitors from that country wanting to exhibit at our show. So in 2024, we have selected Spain as a country of honor, and we cannot wait to see what they will bring to our show. One program that we recommend our international players to participate in is our B2B meetings that happens in concurrent to our show. These meetings are highly selective and takes about four hours. Basically, any international visitors can try to find a partner here by walking through the whole venue at 220,000 square meters, or they can attend one of our meetings where we have already vetted the person you're talking to, which makes doing business a lot more easier and more efficient. The first B2B meeting I want to talk about is the packaging to manufacture meeting. This is where we try to connect international brands that are looking for packaging contractors and hook them up with local packaging companies that have the capability and the capacity to meet their demands. The exhibitor categories include plastic, paper, glass, metal packaging, pumps, valves, labels, and printing. And the other B2B meeting I want to discuss with you is the international brands to distributor one. This is where we invite highly qualified importers and distributors in China from our database who have many years of experience in dealing with importing brands, importing products and brands into China, and distributors who have vast number of channels to meet with the brand owners. The categories include skincare, toiletries, color cosmetics, household devices, fragrances, masks, and many more that you see on here. During our three-day show, we also have many conferences and seminars that caters to the different needs of our visitors. One of the biggest conferences that we have that you might ever see is, is our China Cosmetics Retail Summit, where we invite over a thousand professionals in the cosmetics retailing to share the newest trends, knowledge, successful stories, anything that may help the retail industry grow even bigger. Now, these meetings use dual languages to make it more friendly to our international visitors. 
The other important conference I want to talk about is our science and technology conference. We all know how technology is changing the way we live every day, and it's not much different in the cosmetics industry. In the conference, experts will talk about ways AI, newly discovered ingredients, technology upgrades are changing how consumers pick their makeup, and how beauty companies are utilizing these new techs to better position themselves in the market. This pretty much sums up about China Beauty Expo. You can always visit our official website for more, more details. You may also subscribe to our official social media accounts for the latest, latest news and updates.